their father approaches. I didn't mean to. The child's eyes saucer-wide plead. A cursed bloodline, the father thinks. With a rock the size of his bald fist, the father strikes his only living relative down. As his empty saucer eyes fill with snow, the father's body floats downriver and the bloodline dies. The curse does not. You're the new attraction. I'd offer you a drink, but everything here is poison. You'll have to buy that deal yourself. You don't say much. Doesn't bother me. I've been told I have a tongue for two, and Lord knows I prefer two tongues in my mouth. <laughs> But if there is something wrong with your mouth, you're in luck. We've an in-house dentist. For a guy who specializes in teeth, he sure does flap his gums. But don't we all? Nobody here is much for dental health or... health of any kind for that matter. Being that you've found yourself here, I imagine you're the same. But I can say I'm probably worse. I'm worse in most ways. Consider this. My brother was the older one. Mostly drunk. Mostly kept to himself and his things. So really, it was just her and I. My sister and I. I didn't really know what I was, so I must have become her twin in some way. Our brother died alone.
Nobody really wept, but our family seemed over after that. Then she fell in love. Greasy, unimpressive man he was, he did seem to love her, too. I didn't enjoy that. I admit, I felt betrayed, even jealous. I awoke in his clothes, and she had gone. Maybe I was never him, or her, or anyone, but now I'm this thing here in front of you, and I'm still jealous, and you're thinking you relate, or empathize. Maybe you do, but I doubt you really can. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is all a bad dream. Who gives a shit anyway? I talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> 